Good morning and welcome back. It's day two of the Summer Soiree series on board Virgin Voyager Scarlet Lady. So last night Imagine Cruises had chartered part of the ship and had ABC on board as well as a UK DJ called Pat Sharp. We went to have a look at what was happening but to be honest it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. It finished at 11pm and we watched from our balcony around 1pm some of the equipment still being lifted off the ship by the big crane. Now, the ship should have set sail last night but due to the equipment having to be taken off it wasn't going to be due to set sail until 7am this morning. Virgin need to get better at making these announcements, this just really did upset guests who hadn't booked with Imagine Cruising as the pool area was out of action for a large part of the day while they set up the stage and branding area around the pool. It was 7am and we were awake for sail away. Now, as we were leaving them from Portsmouth in the international port is right next to the naval dockyard, I wanted to go and get a picture and view of some of the ships that were in port. We were also starboard side so I had to go up to deck 15 at the aft to go and have a look. Today, after breakfast, we walked around the open deck on seven that wraps around the ship. We got some nice pictures of the dock area on the aft and then looking upwards towards deck 16 before heading up to deck 16 at the front to Richard's rooftop, the Rockstar Sweep outside bar and lounge area. We stayed here for most of the morning just lounging in the hot tub and lying on the sunbed. And I finished reading my book finally, yeah, the one I started on the PO trip last month. Around about 2pm I think it was, we headed down for afternoon tea. Afternoon tea is on deck 7 in the Sip Lounge Champagne Bar. It's served around about 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock every day and it is an additional surcharge of $19 each or $35 if you want a glass of champagne. You'll see this has been reimagined. Was it worth a $19 upgrade? No. Unlike the other food around the ship, this was quite lacking. Now we have tried an Italian version of afternoon tea before on land and it didn't work either. This really needs to be rethought. Some of the traditional favourites, well especially for me, are coronation chicken sandwiches and they were missing. I don't mind them changing up the breads a little bit, but it just didn't work. The cakes were okay, but we didn't finish them, they're quite sickly sweet. And then as with all afternoon teas on board, it's not proper clotted cream either, which is a bit of a disappointment. The good thing is that we can say that we've had the experience because a lot of people walked past us and said, oh wow, look, there's afternoon tea. Now a few people did do it, but others were surprised that there was an upcharge for, for the service. With our bellies full of treats, we wandered around the ship, took in the high street shops. As we had some sailor loot to spend, we wanted to get an idea of what we could purchase with it. Sailor loot is like onboard credit on other ships. We had an early dinner booked this evening, Goombay, the Korean barbecue on board. Now there was mixed reviews about this restaurant. As with most food on board, there's very little deviation. If you have an allergy, then God help you in some places, as most of the food were pre-prepared and therefore you can't change things. But instead of saying, we can't do it for you today, but we might be able to sort it out for you tomorrow, or if you can let us know prior to coming, we can make sure that certain ingredients are left out because this is certainly the way it's done on other cruises. I know these summer spray cruises were all done last minute and hopefully things will be better next year because the menus were extremely limited and it was really computer says no when asked to deviate from the menu. The menu in Goombe comes in a silly small leaflet style booklet that kept falling apart and had some drinking games at the back. Now also in this restaurant you won't be dining alone. We were placed on the same table as Juliet and Sharon, a lovely couple who were on their mini moon. Now none of us apart from Paul wanted to try the drink which was a part of the game and it also had a charge to it so go figure. Now the problem with this game was that the restaurant got really noisy and they turned the music up which meant that the drunker people got, the noisier it became, and it actually turned out to go from being a nice dining experience to quite a really bad one. So the stars on my review were certainly falling off rapidly. Now, the food in the restaurant was lovely and I enjoyed what I had to eat, even though I had to really fight with them regarding putting fish sauce on everything. Now the server had asked me to try the dish with the fish sauce to make her happy. I said it's not about making you happy, it's about me enjoying the meal experience. So I'd rather not have it marinated in that sauce. And there goes another star from your review. So Goombe is certainly a nice concept, but it needs to be rethought in terms of dietary requirements. The drinking game would be better played at bar rather than actually in the restaurant itself because the drunker people became, the louder it became, and the more they pumped the music up, so it became very difficult to hear. This is the restaurant that was scored the least for me at two stars out of five, and therefore I would only return if some changes in terms of food and food preparation were reconsidered. We had dined previously in a virgin restaurant on land in High Street Kensington, and it was one of the best meals that we've had in London. The standards around our allergies of food was amazing, and it's one of the best I've ever seen in any restaurant. Restaurant and Virgin Voyages really need to take account of this. 
After dinner, we walked around the ship for a bit. We went down to the shop, purchased a few things. We then headed back to the room. We watched the sunset in the balcony because our room is right off the aft. And I had a go in the balcony hammock. I then went down to the social club, got some popcorn, we watched a movie in the room. We are both a little bit tired today and after the movie finished we got ready for bed and had an earliest night. So with that said, the tablet button was pressed, the curtains were closed and the lights went out and our slumber awaited. So good night sailors, we'll see you in the morning. Stay safe and thanks for watching.